What's up everybody, Tactical Reduction 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Single Player Commands mod, and what this mod does is it takes all the commands that you can do on a multiplayer server, and it brings them to single player. So you can spawn animals, you can give yourself items, you can change the time of day, all that sort of stuff. So let me go ahead and come in here, and I'll go ahead and make this full screen. So, first thing you'll notice is it'll say single player commands version 3.1 down in the bottom left hand corner. And then if you hit T, it'll bring up the chat box right here. Type whatever you want into it. So, say you want to spawn a sheep. So, we'll just do spawn sheep and then hit enter. And there you go, you spawned a sheep. Um, let's see. If you want to fly, you do just type in fly and it'll say flying now turned on and then there you go you're flying around and say you want to spawn two of one animal so you'll do spawn let's say slime and then type in a two and there you go there's two slimes roaming around now trying to kill me so you can see that I do have it as daytime right now so I can do I can do time night and it'll go down to sunset and then time day to oh time day okay okay <laughs> time day and then it'll go back to daytime one other thing you can do is if you type in instant mine with no spaces it'll say instant mine now on and what this allows you to do is delete everything with one hit or destroy every block with only one hit so if you want to turn flying off again you just go ahead and type in fly and it'll turn your flying off now giving yourself something you can just do give and then like a random number like 52 and that is a pig spawner um, I'm sure it'll do if I do give sword yeah so you have to know the item numbers to uh, spawn things I think a diamond is 264 so I do give 264 64 and yeah, there we go 64 diamonds just throw them around because because we're diamond like that that didn't really make much sense but yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, preview for the mod here that's basically just a small portion of what this mod does it has over a hundred different commands that you can do very helpful if you know how to use it so I now need to clean out my minecraft jar and after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod okay now I will be showing you how to install this both ways both the automatic way and the manual way and if you're gonna do this the manual way what you're gonna need is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-zip or WinZip um, they all do work the same you can use whatever you want I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial and then for the automatic way you do not need an archiving program so besides that all you are need to download is the mod itself so to get the mod you just can go ahead and come over to single player commands and just go ahead and click on downloads and then here's the automated installer um, you can go ahead and just do alternate download and that'll download it directly from the page um, so or you can do this and it'll take you to like an ad fly or something and then we have the classic download which is the manual way and again this will take you to an ad fly or an ad craft I'm not really sure and then uh, we have the direct download right here so download whatever version you plan on doing or both if you want to try out both ways so that is what you're gonna to need to install this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the automatic way first so if we go ahead and open this up it'll open this little single player commands installation and it should say users and then your name or your uh, username and then app data roaming and then your dot minecraft if you don't see this you want to browse for your dot minecraft folder um, you could have it back up your jar and back up your worlds and then so once this is all sorted out all you have to do is just go ahead and install version 3.1 and it'll say minecraft jar was successfully successfully backed up since I had it back up in my minecraft jar and it'll say installation was successful
successful can't say that word very well <laughs> so yeah so now it's installed and you just go ahead and close that and hop in your world or you can go ahead and click start minecraft from there so I now need to clean out my minecraft jar again so I can show you how uh, to install it the manual way okay so now for the manual installation what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and come over to start and type in percent app data percent percent just like this right here and then go ahead and go into your roaming then into your dot minecraft now open up your bin and left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I am using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR so drag your minecraft jar to the side and your bin we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up single player commands and now we do not want to put the world edit.jar or the readme text into your minecraft jar just the class files so what you want to do is go ahead and click on the first class file hold shift and then click on the second one and drag those two into your minecraft jar and hit ok now go ahead and click on the settings class and hold shift and while holding shift scroll down and click on the last class and drag all those class files in your minecraft jar and hit ok now um, you should see a folder in your minecraft jar called meta inf if you do not see this folder you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do see it what you want to do is left click it and then right click it and then select delete files then hit yes and that will delete your meta inf you want to make sure you always delete meta inf when you're installing a mod or else it'll make minecraft black screen so now we're done with the minecraft jar we can go ahead and close that and you should have minimized your bin so bring that back up and now this is where we're going to put the world edit.jar so go ahead and take the world edit.jar and just drag it into your bin and there you go you're done installing the mod so that was both the automatic and manual way on how to install this mod so I hope this video helped you guys out thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time